Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. One way to import and export data within Sage 50 is to export a CSV file or comma separated value file that can be opened in Excel or one of many other spreadsheet style programs that are compatible with CSV files. In order to do this, you must access the Select Import Export window by selecting File from the menu bar and then choosing the Select Import Export command. Once the window appears, select the file that you would like to export from the listing, grouped by category, and then click the Export button. Now once you've clicked the Export button, you can then use the Filter and Fields tabs to select options for the report as normal. On the Options tab, you can click the gray arrow button that appears in the upper left corner to specify a name and location for the file to be created. To ensure that you'll be able to import the data later after you've made changes, you should leave the file name as whatever Sage 50 makes it. Now in the Export Options section, you can select or deselect options as needed to create the data file as you would like it. Now when you're finished, simply click the OK button. When Sage 50 is finished exporting the report, it will return to the Select Import Export window, and it will not display the report. So if you would like to see it, you would need to open it on your own. Now after you've exported a report as a CSV file, you may want to change some of the data or send it to an accountant to check and or change the data. And once this has been done, you can then import the changes back into Sage 50. However, before you attempt to import data into your company file, you should understand and have experience with data transfer as it's somewhat complicated and could potentially cause your company file to become corrupted if not done properly. To import a CSV file that you've exported and changed, again you must have the Select Import Export window open. Once it is, select the type of file to import, and then click the Import button that appears in the toolbar at the top of the window. Once you do this, you'll see the Fields tab where you can select which fields you would like to import. Be sure that your selections here match the selections you made when you exported the file or your data may become corrupt. Then on the Options tab, you can click the gray arrow button in the upper left corner to select the correct file location. Now if you clicked the Include Headings checkbox when you exported that data, be sure to select the First Row Contains Headings checkbox in the Import Options section of this tab. When you're ready, click the OK button to begin. You'll be notified that you should create a backup before attempting to import data. If you do want to create a backup, click No when Sage 50 asks you if you want to continue. Then create the backup and repeat the steps you just took to import the file. Now if you did not want to create a backup first, simply click Yes to continue and import the information. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.